Welcome to Canvas Projects, a virtual program offering from the Pflugerville Public Library. I'm Meg Miller, an adult services librarian, here with another fun craft for you to complete that's geared for ages 12 and up. Those who registered through the library calendar can pick up material supply kits, and for everyone else watching, we hope that you give these techniques a try. Let's get started on this month's project. Here we have our material supply kit coming in a folded over manila envelope. Um, this month's project is an animal silhouette on canvas. Um, so the items that you are going to receive in your material supply kit are as follows. We've got our paintbrush and this month's colors are a gold and a silver. I have used our li the library laser cutter to cut out these fun little animal silhouettes. Um, but additionally, I provided a piece of black cardstock. Um, if you would like to make a silhouette of your own um, rather than using the design we have here. And then this one's canvas is this really fun oval shape um, that I just thought was so cool. So to get started, you'll see that I have covered my workspace because I'll be working with paint in a little while and um, am going to go ahead and take the plastic off of my canvas so that I will be ready to paint it. If you've got leftover paints from previous month's crafts or of your own supply, you're very welcome to paint the canvas whatever color that you'd like. Um, I will suggest that if you do plan to make your own silhouette, that you're going to want a pencil and you're going to want a light source. So I've got um, a light source above my workspace here, and then I'll need some scissors to cut that out. But if I just use our regular silhouette stencil that's pre-cut, I don't have to worry about that. I'll be able to put it right onto my canvas. Oh, even just that black and white looks really cool. Um, so you'll want for your own can silhouette, you want a reference, so either your own animal, if you can get them to sit in front of a light source, um, you could do a child. I totally remember making these silhouettes um, in school as a kid and always thought it was so much fun. Um, for this video's purpose, I've got our fun little cat here. You can already see I've got a bit of a shadow. I'm going to use the table to show that shadow I'll be tracing because you in video, you don't really see it on the um, piece of black cardstock there. Um, same with, I've got random little baby's head that lives around the library. Um, so you can see we'd be able to sketch that outline and then cut it out of our black cardstock. And really, I just want the cardstock on the table and I'm going to have my item in between my light source and my um, paper that I'm going to sketch on and then I just kind of get them right there sketch his outline and you'll see based on the silhouette that we sent you do want it to be kind of big although um, you could change um, and actually you could even do multiple silhouettes if you really liked um, something like this I think would look really cool um, maybe with a garden scene and some silhouettes of butterflies or birds but for purposes of this we'll go ahead and start painting our canvas and use the laser cut stencil that we've provided. Um, so on my initial example, I went with a main color of gold with some silver accents. Again, this is the fun creative part of this project. So you can really paint this however you prefer. Just going to gently open those cups of paint. Some of them are a little fuller than others. Here we go, I've got my colors. Uh, depending on how I want to paint, I will plausibly need um, some water to rinse my brush in between colors. And I think this time I'm really going to go with the silver on a base level and then come back with the gold. You are to get a really good amount of coverage. Now it looks pretty solid in the video here, but I can already see I'm seeing my canvas, the white of the canvas underneath. So I'm just going to do a fairly thin, smooth layer. And I like this diagonal look that I've got here on this particular piece. And then actually, I'm going to switch to gold up here at the top. 
put a little bit of a blend in there as I come through the two colors. And a thinner layer will allow for this to dry um, a little bit quicker so that I can go ahead and do a second coat of paint in order to really get that good coverage. Just spreading my paint slowly and evenly across the canvas, getting a little bit of that silver down in here, which I'll be able to come across. And as you'll see on my example, I did go ahead and paint the edge, which this particular canvas was really pretty easy to go ahead and paint that edge because of the amount of space and handhold that you've got on the inside. I could kind of just hold it between my fingers and then I don't have to worry about still holding on the side and getting any of that paint on my fingers. So as far as some of our previous canvas projects have gone, this one should be a fairly um, easy one and clean one as far as getting paint on yourself. Again, still making sure for this one that I'm getting into each of those little grooves of the canvas and then coming down here, doing along the bottom side. That layer that will hopefully dry pretty quickly. I'm going to flip around. There we go. Still holding on just my fingers there. I can really get down into those creases along the edge and come up. And we have pretty close. I'm going to go ahead and do silver there on the edge. And we have a little bit of silver there. I'll do a little bit of silver here. And just going to come back and where my paint brush has left a little bit of paint pulled up. I'm going to pull that across so that it's a nice even layer. If you've got bigger paint brushes um, for particularly just doing full coverage like this, um, that might be a quicker way to do it. And also to the opposite end, if you've got smaller paintbrushes and you really want to do some kind of detailed work in um, as you're painting, that is something that you could also do. I know if you've participated in previous months of our Canvas project, that's something you should have probably quite a supply of different little bits of leftover paint and maybe some brushes and the like. So I'm going to do a little bit of silver here on the edge. Down to that gold. Come around to the other side. Another type of design for this that I'd considered is this almost looks like a bit of um, something that you would see like a plaque on the wall, even though it's a canvas. So um, since we're putting the silhouette on it, I might even consider doing almost a wooden effect. So for that, I would do something similar to the example, although I did kind of just go almost a marbling with that particular version. But if I had gone in more of a board look so that it looked like planks of wood on our little canvas here, that, that would be another way to go. Okay. And again, we have a stage of this particular craft where we could kind of diverge in two different directions. So for my example, I did allow for the paint to completely dry, and then I used Mod Podge to um, attach my silhouette. Uh, if you've got some left over and you'd like to do that, that's fine. I did notice once it dried, it really had this kind of extra sheen that I didn't necessarily want. Um, so my secondary way of really getting my paper silhouette to kind of stick on there is I am actually just gonna kind of give up a little bit more of the paint and use the paint as my adhesive. All right. Not too much silver on this brush. Get a good clump of gold here. I'm gonna come right in this middle and add more paint. And as if 
these two were kind of a set. I've got the one guy facing one direction. I'm going to get my second guy facing this second way. And so for this, while the paint is still wet, I am adding my silhouette and just gently tapping down each of the pieces to make sure that he's really stuck on there and I don't have any pools of paint underneath the paper. And really just kind of, I'm going to come just around him. There. And there I have my fun little matching set. And once the paint completely dries, I will really be able to, and I've got his little legs coming up here. So I'm just going to lift them some more. And I'm going to get some extra paint underneath there. And I'm going to hold them down. Really tap it into that paint. There he goes. Now his little toes are staying. So, fairly classic look of a canvas project. Um, I know I definitely saw some silhouettes like these hanging um, in my own grandmother's house. And as I mentioned earlier, this was definitely a project and a little um, kind of fun art thing that I remember doing in school and is something that I've been interested in giving a try again. And this craft program seemed like the perfect venue for it. Um, so whether you do use just the stencil cutout silhouette that was provided or you went ahead and really tried to make it personalized and made your own silhouette with the cardstock provided. Um, we would love to see your completed projects and we look forward to the next month's Canvas Project Craft. Thanks for watching.